The trial of Lassidar. How does one mature? He needs to be humbled. Only then can he appreciate his meagerness in this world. Only when man knows his place can he try to achieve enlightenment, said the headmaster to the teacher, and he continued. Those trials are made for such, dear Zalatnokov. I understand your worries and your delay in presenting him to the committee. Even our worst students were not delayed that late. And your student is a genius. Besides, every day in the outer circle is one less in the inner circle, and it's such a loss considering his ability to contribute. Have faith in him. Zalatnikov remained silent, profoundly thinking. It was as if the weight of the building were standing on his shoulders. He wanted to protest, but the headmaster continued. Even with those unsettling ideas you talk about, your student is just a child. He can start the road to enlightenment only when he faces the greatest of our minds. He will forget all those unsettling thoughts after he is put on trial in front of the committee. Zalatnokov left the office. He was troubled, for he knew that the greatest mind of his time may not be ready for what his student had to say. But he made his objection clear to the headmaster, and the only thing left was to send the boy to the trial. Lassidar was a student in the outer circle, a phase from enlisting in school until the teacher deems the student fit to go to trial. The trial is a procedure where the student presents a subject in faith in front of the elders and has to answer their inquiries. Even unprepared, the elders' knowledge of the faith is unparalleled and the student cannot overcome it. The trials were to neutralize the person's ego and test his knowledge. Faith dictates that man thinks he is superior for no apparent reason. Thus, he fails to measure himself correctly and sees the deficit. Only when he knows his place in the universe does one start learning. After the trial, the committee decides if the student is fit to be in the inner circle and get a higher education, or if he should be sent out of school. You must leave the institution and return to regular life if you are let go. After years of studying, most students have difficulty integrating and won't have enough private time to continue their studies. It was a harsh fate to waste all those years, but that's how faith grows, by the survival of the brightest. The students are free to choose the subject of inquiry, and most choose a simple topic. Despite this, the trials are difficult. Lassidar's trial was set for Saturday afternoon after the morning mass. Allowing the community to be present in a trial deepens the pressure on the students. Zolotnikov sat among the masses, watching the committee sitting at the semicircular table. A deep voice echoed in the hall, naming Lassidar forward. A boy of 18 years old stepped forward. He was of middle height and slender with a sharp mustache hanging from his face. His hair was short but thick. A sharp nose stood proudly on his face. The boy walked confidently, moving swiftly in his dark suit toward the committee. In the middle of the semicircle, he stood surrounded by the committee. What are we going to discuss today, young Lassidar? The boy said without hesitation, What is God? The room felt silent, and then a hushed whisper spread like fire. It's a blasphemous question. The eldest hushed the masses, looked at Lassidar and said, Be careful of your words, young man. Lassidar looked at everyone and said, Why is it a forbidden question? God wasn't shy about it. God is omnipotent, omniscient, and ubiquitous. We also know we are made in God's image, which means we resemble God. The room was quiet again, and Lassidar looked at an old man in the crowd and said, Isn't that true? The man was shocked, but he nodded his head in agreement. See, it's common knowledge. Nowhere in our book did God prohibit us from investigating its essence, but we can't handle it, so we just made it taboo. That's an easy way out of the greatest of mysteries. The tension was so thick a knife could cut it. Anticipation was high, and all eyes were fixed on Lassidar, who continued, Honor elders of faith. What is faith if it can't be challenged? You ask me to have blind faith in God, but you won't follow a blind man. If one belief can't withstand an argument from an 18-year-old green boy, this belief is worthless. Today, I want to ask the taboo question, and there is no better place than among the brightest of our time. The masses broke into a frenzy, but the elders hushed them. The masses went quiet. Lassidar looked at the older scholar and asked if he could proceed. The committee looked at each other, for the boy was right so far, and like professional chess players, they were looking for a hole in his reason. They said, proceed. Lassidar said, if I stand here and God is everywhere, then wherever I look, it should be there. So geometrically speaking, I'm inside it. Before they even protested, he continued, what is the greatest thing we know, and is it everywhere all at once? One of the scholars interrupted him and said, Be careful of what you will say. Lassidar looked at the elder and said, Esteemed elders of the faith, the limits of our thinking are our own handmade. I refuse to restrict my thoughts because it makes others uneasy. What I'm saying is logical, simple, 
and in accordance with everything we believe and know. Lassadar felt heavy in his chest, but he knew he was right and was ready to face the consequences. He looked around, examining the anticipating crowd and the angry elders. Then he said, The universe is the most significant thing we know and live inside. We are part of it and made from it. When we die, we will go back to be part of it. It all fits the description. You draw your conclusion. One of the elders said, This is blasphemy. Lassadar said, Is this the only argument the committee has against mine? I thought we would discuss it painstakingly for hours, but this was easy. The trial was over, for chaos erupted after this. The committee said nothing extra but gave its verdict to terminate Lassadar's education. Zolotnikov watched in silence. They didn't know it, but this was the least radical idea Lassadar had. Lassadar knew the consequences, and he told him once, Ibrahim found God alone. One doesn't need an institution to find God. He needs logic and reasoning, and it's out there. The institution persecuted Lassadar and even shunned from the community. But logic and reason have their way into people's hearts. Lassadar became one of the greatest philosophers of his time. What do you think? Write it in the comment section below. Subscribe for more and share with others. Yours the Counselor SFTG.